Oh, Jamie already said hello. <laughs> Was that the notification? Yeah. Probably. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Monday night mukbang with James and Mark. If you guys are new, please make sure you answer these three questions. Yeah. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? And yeah, if you just got here, make sure you thumbs up this video, hang out with us in the chat, grab some food or some drinks. And yeah, we're gonna get started in about a minute. We're gonna get everyone settled in first, but we see a lot of familiar names. Thank you guys for joining us. Jamie, hi Angelina, Brandon, Turtle, Lisa, Melanie, Purple Orchid Divine. Nice. Yeah, good turnout so far. Well, uh, because daylight savings just happened, it's super like, Bright for us, right? Yeah. Because usually it's dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of like it because I was telling Mark, it reminded me of when we first did these live videos and it was bright still. Outside. Outside. It makes it feel earlier than it is. Yeah. Can of you, hi. And Juanita, hello. Big Red Eating Show, hello. Guys, I had to make a new page. Smack my head. I don't know if you realize. Melanie Irby. A new page. Your name looks very familiar oh, still, though, or similar yeah, from before. Yeah. Courtney, hello. All right, so let's get to the food. We don't want it to get sitting here too long. So I'm going to hold up the food with two hands, and Mark will describe it. So this is uh, cod row spaghetti. We actually bought... Fresh, not fresh, but the real cod roe to put on as topping. Yeah. Because it comes with it in the sauce. I'm but. so excited. The reason we even got this was we went to the... Japanese market. Yeah, Japanese market to pick up some stuff that we needed for Japan, yeah. ironically. Yeah. And then we saw the... They were doing samples of it, like Costco. And we had a little bite and we're like, oh, we, we need to eat that for dinner for Monday night mukbang. Yeah. So. Oh, and then also in the center, we have sea urchin. You guys have never had sea urchin before. Let us know in the comments if you've had sea urchin before. So both sea urchin and cod roe are typically not common no. for people to eat, right? I wouldn't say so. Yeah, so it, for some of you, this may be a very, very unique. This is an excellent mukbang. That should have been the title, actually. Mm. And then we have some pickles to cut through some of the, the richness of everything. Yeah. So... So these two is actually one full box of spaghetti. I don't, maybe I'm hungry, so maybe I'll finish it. But Did you have lunch? Uh, not really. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well then we'll, we'll see how far we get. Yeah. All right. Hello everyone, happy belated. Thank you, Melanie. Looks delicious. Car Monkey, Han Simple Art, Jennifer, hello. Uh, was the Korean barbecue place on Beach Boulevard and Orange Throat. It's Beach Boulevard and... Like, Malvern? Malvern or La Mirada. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Never had that. I heard, I have. It's pretty good. An acquired taste. How are you? We're doing good. Thanks for asking. Yeah. And Minnie said, I've had uni. All right. I'm going to... Should dig in? Yeah. It's going to topple over on my side. I know. I'm not really well versed in eating the spoon and for like I do it, but then I feel like I'm not even doing it right. So I usually give up, but maybe I'll try later. Mmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It's super easy to make because everything comes with it. We just got our own ad additional cod. Mmm. Can I squeeze you? Mm. It's good. Mm. It's very um like decadent, but not like rich like an Alfredo sauce, if that makes sense. It's, it's just it tastes lighter than Alfredo sauce, but it has that kind of feel. Yeah. Oh, it's really good. Good it's, job. There's more flavor than sauce. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Cause you know, sometimes I'm guilty of it when when I eat like other pastas, I'll like douse it in like marinara and spaghetti sauce. But this one is just just enough. I don't know if I, yeah, see, I can't do that. Oh, yours is already kind of clumping, huh? It's okay. Hi, 
Hi, Lola Bocci and Cheryl Silvers. Uh, Jamie, it's called Kang Ho Dong. That's the Korean barbecue place. Wanda, hi, how are you? Mm. Every time I watch you guys, I tend to get hungry all over again, even though I just ate. That means we're doing a good job, right? Mm -hmm. It's okay. I just came from dinner and I'm getting hungry again. Is it dry or has some sauce? It's on the drier side. There's a little bit of sauce, but not too much. So Han, it was very simple. Mark boiled the spaghetti al dente. Then he added two packages of the salted cod roe mix. seasoning mix. Yeah. And then after that, mixed it all up. And then just, we bought a separate thing of salted cod roe and he extracted the roe from that and put that on top. That's about it. Super easy. Oh, so good. And even though it looked like we only had a little bit of the salted cod roe on top, it really goes a long way. Mm -hmm. I think Hanima liked it too. <laughs> uh, there's no garlic in here. Maybe the packet had garlic powder in it, maybe? Could I'm not be. Sure. I mean, I'm sure this is like a good start and we could always add more to it. More to it. I probably would have added like a a pat of butter just because I could. But it's actually really good the way it is, too. Mm. Oh, hey, do. Can't see him. He's looking for the uni. Hey, up here. Hmm. And yeah, eating pickles might seem a little strange with pasta, but actually, Korean food, that's not that strange to eat something pickled, right? No. It was actually, I was in Korea when. Every time you eat like Italian food, pasta or pizza, they always give you a side of pickles. Mm -hmm. And at first I was like, that's kind of weird. Mm, the pickles you got are the sweet kind, no? No, they're sweet, yeah. They're little sweet Birkins. Yeah, we are prepping for meatball. <laughs> we need to make uni spaghetti next time. Yeah, so this box of uni here was seven bucks. Mm -hmm. We went to the Japanese market and they were selling something that was probably four times the size, but it was- 170? Yeah, $170. So we were like, hmm, maybe one day we'll like- Just buy a box. Buy and see how good it is. But uh, Beauty Booty says fresh glasses, boys. Mm -hmm. Mainly just this one. These are my use, but yeah, you look good in them. Not today. I don't look cute today. I'm trying to hide my face. Well, we did have to do a couple thumbnails, and it wasn't because of me. <laughs> Hi, Renee. I just saw you comment on... One of our videos and said I just got off so I can come on here. How's everyone's Monday so far? Dylan and Nate says Ni hao. <laughs> Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao ma. Whiny. Carmungi says I'm pregnant so I've been eating just pickles and sauerkraut so this works for me. <laughs> pickles uh, and sauerkraut together? Oh. Because they're both pickly, no? Yeah. Hey, dude, it's already, like, dozing off. Heather Sinclair, hello. And Jamie is here. Hi, Jamie. What's up, everyone? I just saw the dog back there. So beautiful. <laughs> I actually took Hedu to work one day because it was, like, bring your dog to work day or whatever. And he was in my office, and he was sitting right behind me, and people did not even notice he was there because he was sitting so still. Like, people thought I had a stuffed animal behind me. Uh, Jennifer says her Monday is so far tired and slow. Twilight ASMR, hello.
Twilight because of the movie series or the TV show? What do you think? Or neither? There's a Twilight mo TV show? Twilight Zone. Oh, then movie. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to guess. Or maybe no connection at all. Um, I haven't been able to catch you guys live for a long time. Sorry about that. How are you both doing? We're good. We're um, gearing up for our honeymoon. And yeah, we're just hanging out with you guys. Thanks for asking. My gosh, it's coming up so soon. Oh, God. I'm excited. I looked at your passport just in case it didn't expire. Oh, I checked it when I was komari so I was good. Yeah, How many more years do I have? Like three? Like two or three, yeah. Mercedes de Braga says hi, hello. Hi. Yes, thank you, Twilight, for thumbsing up this video. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you thumbs it up. And if you're new, Mark has some questions <laughs> for you while he takes a big bite of spaghetti. You're eating faster than me again today. Is it because I'm talking too much? Mm. Oh, you're hungry. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm ready to take a slice of uni. Don't you guys want to see us eat the uni? Hmm. Well, we want to know where you're from, what's your favorite food, and how did you find us? Who here likes uni? Sea urchin. Mm hmm Sangye. Oh, that's what it's called? I never knew that. In Korean? Mm hmm Minnie, that sounds good. She had a tuna poke bowl for dinner. Jackie is having a fried ham with mac and cheese and veggies. Oh, fried ham sounds really good. Oh. That goes well with mac and cheese. <laughs> Did you take him to training classes? Mm -mm. Heck no. It wouldn't have gone over that well. <laughs> Maybe. I'm curious. Yeah. How much cake do you have left? Uh, so that's funny because we had a party here after... Saturday. So, so we went out for Saturday for a birthday and then people came over and I, th I guess a couple of people ate some slices of cake. So now I think there's a good half of it left, mm. right? Mm. Actually, you probably haven't seen how much cake is left. No. <laughs> mm. Honda asked, do you eat the uni with the pasta? We can. How should we do this? I just want to eat a piece of uni straight up. Straight up? Yeah. So they have versions of this pasta where you just mix in sea urchin, but we're not doing that today. We just, I forgot why I bought this. Oh, we were supposed to eat this because we had a heavy. Oh yeah. It's like, Ooh. it's like tongues. Ooh. Kiss, 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 kiss. Mm. Okay. Hmm? I'll do this for $7. Yeah. I mean, it's still not the best yeah, quality, still. but it's also but not it's the good. worst. Mm. Good enough. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not mad. I saw a documentary on how they package uni. Will I still want to eat it after? No. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it was just fascinating. Mm, Beauty Foodies asked, what do you guys do to get rid of the stress? Hmm. Eat. I think I am a stress eater, huh? Or I use food as a mechanism to say, like, I work so hard, oh, I get food. Eat, yeah. So, like, I use that. I don't know if you quite do that, because you kind of just tag along with what I do. No. Would you say, like, just watching TV and not having to do anything is your, mm -hmm. your way? Because I would guess that. There are days where right here for, like, a good chunk of the day Me. Um, yeah it's fine but that's just how you when the tv goes idle because you haven't touched the remote in a while that's when i'm like okay i need to get up yeah i might just finish my spaghetti actually i'm gonna finish it it's okay okay so i don't feel bad yeah Lindsay says i wish i was an allergic to uni oh no well, you can watch us eat it. I don't know if that will make it any better, though. Or, like, if you're really craving it, just make sure you have an EpiPen next to you and just, like, eat it and then give yourself a shot. Uh, let's not get sued. <laughs> don't do that. 
But you're both getting excited for that. Where are you going? We're going to Japan. Uh, Twilight's name says, no connection, honestly. I know it's super popular drama, but I never watched before. I know I'm outdated. All I know is it's about vampires and stuff. Well, yeah, that's that's true. It is about vampires. Uh, I don't think I've had it before. Uh, Wanda, you can pick it up at pretty much a lot of Asian markets that have, especially the ones that have like sushi. They usually oh, have yeah, it. Oh, yeah, for the drafting restaurant. Oh, yeah. The only thing with uni is like the, it's pricier. So just yeah. be prepared for that. Usually there's no price. Usually it's the MP, so market price. Yeah, for sure. It's not your tuna. Yeah. <laughs> or a California roll. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm going to put a small piece and just eat it with the pasta. Because someone said that earlier and now I'm like intrigued. Mm. Well, I kind of look like a uni and a cod road today. <laughs> mm. I kind of want fried ham and mac and cheese now. Fried ham does sound good. <laughs> it's funny. You guys come on here and you think... We make you hungry, but when you guys tell us what's going on over on your end, we get hungry too. Mm, it's good with me. Mm -hmm. And the pasta. It goes together. Mm. Um, Heather says, I've never tried uni or any kind of sushi fish. I can't get it here. Heather, can you remind us where you're from again? How would you describe what uni tastes like? Um, kind of like a buttery, ripe avocado. <laughs> buttery, ripe avocado with the hint of the ocean. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> mm. Oh, Jennifer from California. Favorite food is all food. Mm. Dumplings mostly. And the third question is, how did you find our channel? And yeah, quick reminder, make sure you guys thumbs up this video. We really appreciate it. Jamie says, Hiccup and Churroholic in Stanton finally open. We've had hiccups. Have mm. we had Churroholic? They're next to each other, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, but the Stanton one, we've never been there. They just oh. opened. We've been to Hiccups because there's one near us. And I can't remember if we've been to the Churroholic. I feel like there's one on like Magnolia. I, I, but they're next to each other, right? Those two restaurants or places? Well, the, the one that just opened, yes, but not right now. But we the went one to we Hiccups. Went to Anaheim, I, how come I remember both those names? Well, Hiccups is next to um, Chipotle in the Target Plaza. But you could be right. I just know we only went to the churro place that time. That's why I don't remember anything about the drink place. We went place. to the churro place. Yeah. Yeah. But now you're maybe it is together. What are your questions again? I missed it. Oh, um, go ahead. <laughs> Where are you from? What's your favorite food and how did you find us? Hi, DJ Tanner. <laughs> oh, DJ Tanner. I just realized that. For some reason, I read it as like, uh, like a DJ, like a DJ oh. Tanner, not DJ Tanner. That's funny. From Full House and Fuller House. Ooh, we should talk about Lori Laughlin later. Oh, we haven't had all... a chance to talk about that yet. Yeah. What do you all feel about that? Do you feel wronged? <laughs> Um, Wanda, Wanda said she saw the documentary too. The sea urchin one? Oh, is? yeah. I don't remember. I, it was either online or I don't remember, but it was really fascinating. Mm. Twilight is from the West Coast. Saw you on Wanda Wu's live. Favorite food is Viet or Chinese food. Hard to decide a particular dish. That's fair. Those are both really good cuisines. Uh, Beauty Foodie says, what are your favorite numbers and why? Um, 
Well, both of our numbers, like we both like three, right? Because it has March, because it's March and our birthdays in March. It's not my. I guess it would be oh, my top but, five. But James likes to gamble, so he loves sevens and stuff. <laughs> sevens and what else? All my numbers are related to that. It's 21. I love seven, I love twenty one, and I do like eleven. We had seven eleven pizza on Saturday. <laughs> That was a gamble, but it wasn't that bad. You can go wrong. But yeah, I think I just, I like those numbers because I associate it with good things. Mm. Do you have favorite number? I'm boring. Like when he plays lotto, he just does quick pick. Mm -hmm. He doesn't choose like any favorite numbers. Let's see, are we behind? If if we haven't gotten to your comment yet, we're getting there shortly. So we'll get there. Hi, Davy. Uh, McCoy J says, "What well, doesn't say? It's just heart, <laughs> heart, heart, heart." What are some of the most useful house appliances you own? Mm, I think they're all useful, but do we use them? The answer is no. Mm. The countertop. What is it called? My oh. Toaster oven. Toaster oven is super useful. Oh, you could kind of see it. Is that one? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's the it's a Panasonic one. It works really well. Uh, Highly recommend it. I mean, we have a Solar Stream that we're not using. We have a we have a Ninja Foodie that we're not really using. Air fryer yeah. thingy. Well, they don't have to be just like kitchen appliances. Any other appliances, right? Well, I mean, if you want to be that technical like the kitchen sink a sponge so that we no i don't consider it. that like i was thinking like uh the uh, the washing machine drying oh mm -hmm. vacuum cleaner mm -hmm. oh how i feel like i'm not able to comment that much because i probably out of the two of us use appliances the least <laughs> that's why i didn't want to be like i like that and then you you have an end to say like but you don't even do anything with it you can still like it no no <laughs> Uh, Big Red is from South Carolina. My favorite food is mac and cheese. Love mac and cheese. And I saw y'all in Wanda and Canna's life. Thanks for answering our questions. Yeah. I'm surprised you're not using chopsticks instead. I yeah. yeah. Thought about it. Heather says Japan. Now that's where I would love to go. I could try proper sushi there, but not going to happen for me. P.S. I know it's your honeymoon, but will you be making vids for YouTube while you are there? Uh, we had a discussion on having some things covered while we're there. Like, uh, James wants to do a convenience store mukbang. <laughs> like, we just get random things from the 7-Eleven there. And I feel like we're just going to be filming random things and it might be like the vlog style thing. Huh? Yeah. Like, even if it was just day one, this is what we did, but... It doesn't have to, I don't know how it's going to, I just, especially since we traveled a little bit here and there recently and having videos just made me appreciate video a little bit more than um, photos. Mm. Cause I feel like photos, some reason I just take it and then I just don't think about it ever again. I post it once and then it's forever gone. But with the video, there's more replay value for me. Like I've watched our Washington DC video, like at least 10 times. And now if I ever need to think about that trip, I'll just rewatch that video, but I won't look up photos of our Washington DC trip. If that makes sense. Well, I'm glad you say this now because for our wedding, well, don't bring this up again. <laughs> James like, well, no, we don't need a videographer. We don't need a video. I was like, but you have a YouTube, like you out of all people should want it because it's a video. And then now, you don't regret it. Yep. You probably seen our wedding video more than the photos. Mm, for sure. Remember the first week we got the video? I watched it like probably 20 times the first day and then <laughs> 10 every day after that for like a week. Yeah. Is it uni buttery? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have some of this? Are you oh, saving? Have, no, you can't. Mm. You just need a little bit and it just like packs such flavor. 
Sometimes you just need white rice and the codro and just eat that together. Mm -hmm. Mm, eat half of this and I'll finish. It no, you have it. What'd you do? <laughs> um, best place brand to get glass frames. Hmm. Tom Ford. Yeah, he's a Tom Ford. Which you're wearing, by the way. Oh, yeah, I guess so. These are probably my first Tom Ford. I used to only wear Ray-Ban. Mm. When I first met you, what glasses did you wear? Like guests or something? Like I don't even remember. Okay. And my glasses, when I first met you, were probably like, they were like older gentleman glasses. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know if it was ever trendy, but it was very thin, like um, I, silver glasses frames. Glasses have styles. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Heather says, I'm not in Enland. Closer place to get some would be London, but I live too far away to get sushi. Ah. Oh. Hi, Gina. So we were in Wanda's chat the other day, and Gina said she was surprised that we would choose a peanut butter and jelly flavored cake. Oh, that was the point. We wanted to surprise people. A little shock factor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Stray Cat, hi. We had... Codro spaghetti, which is like fish eggs and spaghetti, right? Yeah, cod eggs. <laughs> What's the tea, guys? That you're here. Hello, welcome. My town's a fishing port in England, but wouldn't find uni or any decent sushi. Oh, oh that's a bummer. How about eel? You love eel. I do. We almost but got eel. There's traditional uh, English food called jarred eel jarred eel or pickled eel oh. oh sorry it's okay hi perla <laughs> if you're still here <laughs> if you all could learn the answer to one question about your future what would the question be Ooh. i don't know every time someone asks me stuff like that i feel like there's there's a beauty in not knowing something is going to happen, right? But if you had the ability to know, wouldn't you want to know? Like, well, I if, guess it, it, if the option was there. Yeah, I guess if it was there, I'd be too tempted not to, but I can't think of it. Like, I wouldn't want to know when either of us move on to the next life. Like, I wouldn't ask that. All I know is I want to die before you. <laughs> Well, I want to before you. No, you have to deal with it. Ugh. Uh, uh, there's this Japanese lady. Oh, just world, world record. record right? Yeah, oldest. 116? 116. 116-year-old. The oldest living person right now. She looked like she was in better shape than some days that I like get out of bed. And I'm like, I can't even walk right now. She's like. Yeah. She got two certificates. One for the uh, longest living. Well, wouldn't and you want something else besides your certificate? Sorry. I mean, the certificate probably means something, but I wouldn't want the certificate. I'd want, yeah. like, why money get, or why something. Why not get some prize money? Yeah. Hmm. Um, so I guess we don't have an answer to that question. I don't know. Ella or Jay, what do you want to know? <laughs> Who will take care of Hedy when you're in Japan? So we mm. have a pet hotel that he is very accustomed to. So they'll take good care of him while we're over there. Yeah. We um, just haven't done a good job at getting him acclimated to anyone else. Does anyone want to volunteer? Um, I love my toaster oven. I don't even use my regular oven anymore. It's convenient because you don't heat up your whole house. Yeah, doing it's it. quicker. Okay, let me get through these comments and then we'll kind of just clear this out a little bit. Uh, what does that taste like? Like uni, I would say the salted codro tasted tastes like salt, salt but fish, fishy. This one almost uni is like, not salty. No, unless you have the bad kind, I guess. <laughs> it kind of looks like mango sorbet, but it's, <laughs> but it's not. Should we start a new thing called uni sorbet? Oh, James. Oh, he's having an orgasm right now. Oh. That one tasted like fruity, though. Oh, good. 
I think I really like, I concentrated so hard that it turned into mango sorbet. That was good. That looked like a good piece. This was a good dinner. This is like, this is the stuff we need to cook so that we don't get tempted to eat out. Because like, it's just our lifestyle to eat out as much as we can. But we'll be doing a lot of that when we're in. We had to use the onion salt for. Probably. We don't have like a good like set. I like we're very um, was it low budget? Like we try to look good on camera, but behind the scene, it's like not even wearing underwear. What does that have to do with anything? Uh, 7-Eleven is amazing there from the videos I've seen. People live on 7-Eleven food because it's cheap and decent. Yeah, we're, we're, we're super uh, excited to try it. TN Wonder, hey, guys, how are you? What's up? Renee says, I feel so happy right now. Awesome. Love your coffee cups. Thank you. Uh, speaking of Lori Laughlin, which recent news story is the most interesting? We don't find it shocking. Even have a private high school on on your transcript that helps you get into your school. Yeah, so I really? think it's just like the privilege of kids from wealthy families. They have more connections. They have more resources to get into good schools. But I think, so it's not that surprising, but I I. I think why people are so upset is that even with all that resource, access to resources, they still did this. Yeah. Right. Even they went to private so, school, they still paid half a million dollars just to get into US, whatever. You I know? see. So you're thinking like people would have been like, it'd be fine if they just hired like a full-time tutor and then have them learn and right, actually get in their own. Yeah. Because in life it's like, you know, it's, is it fair that they could afford a private tutor? You know, maybe, maybe not, but no one's really going to get mad about it, but people get mad if you directly. Well, yeah, what, what they did was like totally yeah. cheating the system. Yeah. I also find that it is like, sorry, I didn't know about Lori Laughlin until like, like she was off my radar. Same with the other actress that was know, accused. I didn't know she was that rich. <laughs> Well, she's married to Massimo. Well, didn't he go bankrupt and they had to sell at Target? Well, I mean, selling at Target is not a bad shtick either. No, mm. Massimo had its own storefront until. Oh, did? At, I've never be been into a Target. Yeah. I've never been in. I used to wear a lot of Massimo in like junior high. That was like my my brand. It was popular, I guess. But no, <laughs> I guess. But at, they had their own storefront in South Coast. Plaza, you know, or like, yeah, you know, Google Bosses. I I just never stepped foot into one, so I yeah. don't know. It was considered like a high end brand. It didn't look that high end. Shirts. No, were. no, like then when it became everyday wear at Target, it wasn't. High no, end. I I I wore it before it was in Target. Let's not get it twisted. I can't believe you said that. Are you sure it was Massimo? It was Massimo. Though my dad one time. I think he had a Fila shirt, but the eye was missing. So we would laugh and call it a Fla shirt. Oh, you have seaweed in your teeth. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't have to say anything. Do I have anything? No. Okay. Uh, Tom Ford, rich boy, CEO, BCEOs. <laughs> Derf was wearing Ray-Bans. I was wearing Coach in 2009. Coach? I haven't heard about Coach. I mean, I haven't heard of Coach in a long time. Yeah, me that either. Was Coach and Dooney and Burke. Oh yeah, that was really popular. Like, I guess. What's the popular. logo for the Dooney and Burke one? It looks like Louis Vuitton, but the D. letters D. D. Okay, yeah. Uh, Angelina, random side note: I saw your throwback photos, and I was like living for them. She put it on her Instagram. Mm. The best type of fish you get here in England is cod from the fish and chip shop. Yeah. So we had chips. the egg of a cod today. <laughs> so. There's that connection. Tony says no eel, unfortunately. Mm. Oh, we're really behind on comments. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me catch up. I talked about eel like 20 minutes ago. All right, now. James, describe Mark in three words. Mark, describe James in three words. Okay, I'm gonna go. Smart, fashionable. Uh, 
and selfless. Will Smith and Mark three. Okay. Your three would be you're a beauty, a foodie, and a cutie. Okay. I mean, I, I, I'm okay <laughs> with foodie and cutie. I don't think you would ever call me beauty. I married you. But I know you didn't marry me for looks. Let's be real. <laughs> you don't know that. I hate when I answer a question and I feel like I give it like 100% and you give like the... That was 110%. Well, beauty and cutie is kind of the same word. That's like me calling you smart and wise. I want a different word. <laughs> Funny. I was gonna. I thought you were gonna change it to be like moody or pushy or something else. Okay, I'll take funny. That's fine. Uh, I love trying new things, James and Mark. We would like to know when we would be as successful as you guys, successful boys. Uh, success is relative. It depends on what you define as success, right? Yeah. Doesn't mean like, you know, not not checking your bank account and like worrying about overdrafting necessarily it just means finding for me i think it's just finding content is contentment a word i think Being content with what you place value on or in your life re or recognizing uh the accomplish like that you had a goal and you accomplished it that's success yes yeah. but i think you were the one that talked about it or i read it like we live in a society where we're constantly like striving to like make more money and blah, blah, blah. Like those are the things that naturally as a society, people view as success, even though that isn't always the definition people should adhere to. Well, if that's your definition, then that's fine. Yeah. But that shouldn't be everyone's definition. No, but I'm just saying like from a societal standpoint, that's probably the most common thing I hear people using as like an indicator of success. Yeah. Oh, we're going deep. <laughs> is it a five-star pet hotel? If I live near you, I would love to dog sit Hedu. I don't know if it's considered five-star, but they treat Hedu really nicely. Like the other day, Mark called, and he just mentioned our last name, and he the person knew immediately it was Hedu. Oh, Hedu. Oh, I can't wait. He's, I, I miss him so much. And then when we got off the phone, she's like, oh, make sure you give him a hug for me right now, okay? I was like, okay. And... You know, I don't know if it's true or not, but we get a report card after, after we pick him up, and he always gets good grades <laughs> in there, like good attitude, eats most of his food, but not always all. Yeah. Um, what's your number one place to eat out? Hey, Austin. Oh, well, I do want Shake Shack after your video, but we mm. haven't been to Shake Shack. No. Yet. Number one place we to eat out. We could have run in Washington, D.C., is there one there? Yeah. Oh, there was. Yeah, we always roll. And there's them. one in Vegas. We always go by that. There's one in there. LA too. We might. I feel like we'll end up going to a Shake Shack that's not LA first. Knowing us. Knowing us. Uh, number one place to eat out. Ooh. I like a sushi restaurant. Yeah, sushi. Sushi always gets the spot. I've been craving yakitori though. Mm. Ugh. I don't know if we should get. Some before we go to Japan, or just wait till we go to Japan. Mm, good. Question. Or just go this weekend, maybe. Or something if I want like a fancy night out, like I don't mind a steakhouse. Yeah. What's for dessert? Our wedding cake. Yeah, if we do eat dessert, it would be our wedding cake. <laughs> uh, wow, you guys lag bad. You need boosters on your internet. I'm about getting some at Walmart. You get three for about eighty to a hundred dollars. <laughs> Probably tastes more like Tobiko. I love my toaster oven. I use it a lot, especially when I'm warming things up. Uh, we went to an old bookstore recently and felt a weird spirit present. Have you guys ever had a surreal experience like that? Me. I think you have. Me, I don't think so. Never? Not really. I was what? like, ooh, what is that? And then I was like, oh, I passed gas. <laughs> What's that spirit like floating up my back? Oh, it's just the, the air. <laughs> Go ahead, tell your tell your story quick. Uh, no, I'm not joking. But when I was sleeping, tell them, not me. I was sleeping, and then I literally felt myself floating from my body. And then I remember, like, looking down, I was like, "Oh my gosh, am I dying right now?" And then something happened, and it hit like something hit, hit me, and I woke up. 
But I, I was numb though. I couldn't mm-hmm. move for a few minutes. And that sounds like it's a common thing. Like I've heard other people have that same, like they're just laying there looking at yeah. their other self float. But is... then for me, I didn't see myself float. I felt like I was floating. Oh, okay. That's weird. <laughs> People should be pissed at the schools that are accepting the bribes. Austin says, I think this whole scandal is on the universities more than anything. They are the ones vetting and accepting this. Yeah. I mean, I know I worked, like, we worked our butt off just to get into a school. So it's like, to know that someone was just able to, like, make arrangements to get in, that kind of, I think that's what people are pissed off about. Yeah. Hi, Shelly. I know you did question mark, but I'm not sure what the question mark's for. The college scandal is nothing new happening for a long time, except this time, Lori and a few other celebrities got singled out. Yeah, do you see it was like a bunch of CEOs and celebrities, but they only called out her and the Desperate Housewife lady. Because they had the most like name recognition, I guess. Oh, maybe. I was in my feelings of how I looked before mukbangs. Oh, Angelina, I've done that a few times before, too. (laughs) Looking at old videos, I was like, I, I wasn't even happy when I looked like that. And then now I look like this and I'm like, not, uh, it's just a constant battle. Uh, Shelly says, it's just amazing how Lori Laughlin's husband preaches hard work, no handouts, unless it affects their status that they'll throw money at for appearances sake. Just gross. You know, um, someone wrote like, there's just one time Lori made a comment like, oh, like I spend so much of my kids' education. Oh yeah. <laughs> and they 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 found that quote again and they're <laughs> so no, you know what's funny? I read this other article about how Felicity Huffman, the Desperate Housewife lady, they had a storyline on Desperate Housewives where she was in a school scandal that was related to like working the system oh. or paying it off. So it paralleled. And I just wonder as she was acting that out, if she felt I don't know if well, probably by then her kids weren't in college yeah, yet anyways yeah. but it's just kind of ironic that she she had like a role life. that was related to what she was actually doing in real life uh ben a did we eat already yes we did unfortunately but when you catch the replay you won't be disappointed all the food was here when we kind of just moved it off to the side but we're happy you're here still uh atlantic cod is so much better than the black cod from the pacific much meaty much meter the meat is more firm oh i don't know the I don't know if I would know the difference. No. I don't think I would. Hmm. James, you are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Renee. Uh, even though it isn't new, I'm glad it's finally being called out. It doesn't make it okay. Side note, hi, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm sure CEO boys don't have time to waste, but what's your favorite way of wasting time? Oh, just I mean, couch potato. Couch potatoing. I mean, I don't want to say watching YouTube, but it is watching YouTube. Sometimes I'll watch clips. I have a a playlist of videos I've seen probably 10 times. And then when Mark is like, are you watching that again? And I'm like, I just want to remember the, and you go, you go through like phases, not phases, but moods. Like, like it'll be a lot of resident evil and they will be like RuPaul and they will be other mukbangers. And yeah, it's like whatever flavor I'm feeling. Ivory Bergoli. Hey, how's it going? I love that name. Let's ask our questions. It's been a second. Yeah, Ivory, where are you from? What's your favorite food and how did you find us? Oh, hi, Stephanie. Stephanie Lynch is here and mm. Catherine is also here. Have a great week on my way to work. Oh, get there safely. Oh, Atlantic Cobb makes for better fish and chips. Uh, does the pet hotel allow you to view Hedy while you're away? Like, do they have a live cam that lets you check on him? Not that we're That's aware one of. one thing they need. Yeah. Right. Yeah. His nickname. Uh, Kelly Waters, hello. I would love to have some good fish and chips, but fried and too many calories. Ha. Hi, Canna. I'm sure you could make fish and chips a healthy way. With the air fryer, I'm sure there's a way now. Yeah, maybe not like a thick um, batter, but just like lightly battered Mm -hmm. fish and chips. That sounds good, actually. I had fish and chips on Friday. Oh, you did? And they were not, the, it was not the light version either. <laughs> I, ate all the, I ate all the French fries because French fries are one of those things, if I don't eat it on the spot, then I'm going to be like sad that I don't eat it. But then I felt gross yeah, either way. So it's yeah. like, a, 
Kelly says, I trust you had a good birthday, James. Yeah, we actually had a really great birthday celebration on Saturday. It was really neat because we just have a lot of different groups of people in our lives now. Like we have YouTube friends, we have our neighbor friends, we have our old neighbor friends, we have high school, college friends, and then we have just new friends that we've made. So it's it was cool to just see everyone in the same room. So the common denominator is alcohol. That I, I thought <laughs> it was us. <laughs> oh my God, there was too much soju though. It, it reaffirmed my like, I don't like soju as much as I thought I would. I like soju when it's in the beer, but then that makes it even like oh, more yeah. potent for me. And so that's why I had a I kinda, lot of soju bong. Yeah. I felt that one time. And when I was waking up, I felt like I was falling and I could feel my bed shake. Oh, the whole oh, yeah. sleeping while. Yeah. Half a day, Jennifer. Hi. And hi, Jam. Uh, Angelina says, that's what I said. I said, OMG, I was so ugly then at the time. And now I'm like, why was I so unhappy then? I think it's, yeah, it, it's wholly mental. Uh, Jennifer says, I'm finally caught alive, but I'm late and missed it. No worries. Canna says, have fun. Guys, I'm driving now. Drive safe. Drive safe. Has the traffic been better since the light's been out? Oh, good question. It gets worse when it's the other daylight savings. Yeah. Jam's been working late. Uh, Aldalberto Mareo says, hey, guys, where's the dog? I love him. He's right here giving, giving Mark some love. Ooh. <laughs> Mark, it sounds like you may have experienced temporary sleep paralysis. What does that mean? <laughs> Shelly, diagnose him. At least I catch the convo. It's a good one. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Sorry I missed the eating, but we'll watch again. Jonesy B, hi. How are you? Ooh. Get up, get up, I think we're it. almost caught up. Are we? <laughs> Ooh, shake it, shake it off. Who besides your parents and each other had the biggest impact on your life? Oh. Besides each other and our parents. Biggest impact? Yeah, That's I mean how do you kind of smells? <laughs> hey, no. No, no kisses. Ah! Ah! Hmm. Um, you know, like I think of a handful of teachers that were really good, but hmm. I also just, I also have to think like, did they really, yeah, they impacted me. I just can't, yeah. You can't think of an I can't, example, right? Yeah, now. I can't think of it a clear example. Like I could pick out like the top three or four most influential teachers I've had, but I don't know if their teaching made me become a certain way. Mm -hmm. Um. I think how, how for about me, like Britney Spears. I don't know. No, no? Oh, like she, her music. I don't know. Mm -mm. Oh. I don't. I mean, as much as I, I'm into that kind of stuff. Like I wouldn't say Kelly anyone. Clarkson. Not even. Hmm. So yours is Umjola. She impact you, Korean pop star. Like I can think of. Yeah, I can think of certain people that, like I can think of a friend that like got us into like doing this. Like if I didn't get that nudge, I probably wouldn't be doing this. Mm. So I think of Heather in that sense, but I also have a lot of other friends that had an impact, had an impact, like people that are very open. And I'm like, oh, okay, that I can be open too. You know, mm. like, so I think you pick, you pick and choose like what people. So it's like you could pick and choose and then make a really one special person out of all those people. Mm hmm. When I fry fish, I use panko and shallow fry and an inch of oil comes out less greasy. Mm. I like panko crumbs. I do too. They have, it's, a, it's like a totally different type of crispy. Uh, uh, the summer is coming. And that means a lot of things out, including alcohol. I'm going to be so cranky. Cutting a lot of things. Is that because you want to? I don't know about people, but I lose weight when I drink. <laughs> So it's like, maybe that's the right kind of calorie for my body. Well, it was because Saturday we only drank, so we didn't eat. We didn't eat, yeah. But I don't know if the amount we drink like would match oh, if well, we just ate. Eight. So that could be it, but it's not. I, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> uh, I get the best gift on my birthday, first day of spring. 
Is the first day of spring the 20th? It, oh, yeah. It's coming up. Yeah. Uh, we had dinner at Reverie today, and it was delicious. Please return to D.C. so we can treat you guys. So Reverie was the restaurant that was from the final table. All right. We're going to come uh, next week when I have the whole week off. What's the other restaurant that we wanted to go but they didn't have reservations? They ran out of spots. I don't remember. Do you remember the style of food or anything else about I it? I think it was um, like prefix. Yeah, that's not enough for me. <laughs> I, I, it might have started with an R, maybe. That's, but it's not Reverie. I don't know. Mm. Mm. How's my mother? Love the mugs. <laughs> uh, that's so sweet of you to ask. I'm doing well and loving to see you two live. Britney Spears. <laughs> I think Mark's mom is a good cook. <laughs> um, yeah, I do miss her cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just take a peek at the food. Wow, now I need noodles. Yeah, the noodles are delicious. I bloat when I have alcohol, my face bloats up, not cute. It was funny because when we uh, got to the place where we did the birthday, everyone was like, take all the photos now before we start drinking because after you drink, you don't look your best. That's true. So I was like, oh, that, that was a good idea. Yeah. Uh, Mark, are those glasses new? Kind of, but I'm wearing them because I, I'm wearing a bandaid on my nose right here. So I'm trying to hide them. <laughs> so please forgive me. Did you get any compliments on your glasses today? I didn't wear these. I wore my Felix Grey ones. But do people ever see you wear those either? I've worn that a couple of times because that's a blue filter lens. Oh. So I'm like, if I'm going to wear glasses, might as well protect your eyes at the same time. <laughs> Is it cake time? Yeah. Want cake. Know. Do you want cake? I also feel like if we don't eat the cake, then we'll end up throwing it away. Oh, so I'm like, huh, maybe we should. Maybe we could just split one good slice. Want me to get it? Yeah. And we just need to save enough. Oh, did you end up giving um, Sandy the cake? Yeah. Was she very happy? So Mark's, a colleague of Mark's asked for a slice of cake because she was at our wedding. And then... Um, Mark brought that into work today, so she got cake. Too bad we can't give you guys cake. If we could, we would. Oh, there's not a lot left. So we can portion out whatever we need to give away still, and then. Uh, Kelly says, every year, but leap year, then the first day of spring is on the 21st. So I, I didn't realize the first day of spring is the same every year. I did not know that. And if you guys haven't yet, make sure you thumbs up this video. Heidi says, please thumbs up this video. Really appreciate it. And if you guys are completely new or want to share with the chat, let us know where you're from. What's your favorite food and how did you find us? Um, favorite shoes, Carmen asks. Favorite shoes? Yeah. Does anyone want to buy me some Yeezys? See, this is how out of the game I am. Is that like a like a trendy brand of shoes, expensive brand of shoes? I only know for two reasons. They can't make fun. Okay. What are the reasons? Uh, it was uh, on an episode of People's Court. Okay. Someone was selling fake ones, so he wanted his money back. Another one is... Remember that one time I watched this like uh, this guy who lives in China and he has a YouTube channel. Where oh yeah, where he haggles. Is. Yeah, yeah. That's how else you found yeah. out easy. Is that by someone? Is it a, is it a Kanye North... West? Maybe. Oh, is it? Because it sounds like a Kanye West Adidas. thing. Uh, Jonesy B says, "Did you already cover the story behind the band aid?" Uh, it's a secret. 
How many likes before we actually tell that story? 100 likes. Yeah, 100 likes. Uh, we're only at 29, so you guys probably won't hear about it. I think it was Mimi or someone said, like, oh, where's the chopsticks? So I was like, oh, I'm going to use chopsticks with cake. And now Hades, Hades is always on my side when we eat, but I don't give him food more than you do, or vice versa. I don't know. I don't give him. Where'd he go? <laughs> I don't know. Can you please bake a cake right now? Oh my God, that would be a challenge. Oh my gosh. Hadu loves peanut butter. So I think he could smell it. Mm, mm, we actually should, we we're supposed to let it sit out for a second. Oh yeah, that's right. Give it a second. It's good, but I could I can taste that it would be better if it sat for a bit. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Edgar says, hello from the Philippines. We need to continue our Jollibee series. Oh. We we're like, yeah, we're going to do a reaction of the second video. I actually am craving Jollibee. I really do want to eat. I forget what I was craving there, though. Uh, Mark, those Yeezys are ugly. Don't do it. I'm just kidding. I, I don't know if I would want them. Uh, that icing looks delicious. Yeah, it's not too sweet. It's pretty good. And if you haven't catched, caught, not catched, if you haven't caught our uh, mukbang on it, check it out after this video. Uh, bye, Kelly. Got to go. Adios. No, not Yeezy, not Yeezys. No, use a fork. <laughs> Joseph Prom, hello. <clears throat> uh, hi, guys. I went to H Mart over the weekend. I love that market. It's not my favorite. Oh, yeah, ooh. that's where we got um, our cod. Our row. cod row. Yeah, and where we got some and our uni. Yeah, and our uni, and then we're filming something on Wednesday, and hopefully it'll drop by Thursday. Hopefully it's still good by then. So should we put it in the... I don't know. It should be good still. I don't know. I, I just don't know. Yeah. Well, now you're making me all paranoid. Because I, I asked you if it's okay till Wednesday, and you said yes yesterday, and now you're saying I don't know if it would be good. So I wouldn't have bought it then. I think all dogs love peanut butter, chicken, and cheese. Those are all, he loves all three yeah. of them. If you, yeah, that's funny. He loves, yeah, cheese. Oh my gosh. I heart the chopstick eating cake. I didn't even know there was a chopstick emoji. There is. Oh, there's that is. chopstick. Dave of the North. Hello. This is Mark and James from the South. <laughs> Has peanut butter? Yep, there's peanut butter in this. I was online shopping hours on my phone. Your notification saved me. My bank account. Thanks hours? Oh, I don't want to eat yet. Favorite style icon? Mine is Mark. Because, like, okay, this is what happened. On Saturday, I was all, like, ready to wear what I was going to wear. And then I saw what he wore. And then I was like, well, maybe I should, like, dress up a little bit more. Because he at least had, like, a nice jacket. And I just had a dress shirt. So then I ended up putting a jacket on. Do you have a style icon? You can just say yourself. Myself. <laughs> Although I can't. So for our lives, I'm not dressing up. I don't this dress is, up for lives. This is just house shirt. Yeah. And like house shorts. Yeah. Okay. It's just funny to say like I'm a fashion icon well, when I'm looking like this right now. But aren't there style icons or fashion icons that just wear very basic things mm. so uh bun soy 16 i don't know if i said your name right but it says hi guys i'm from windsor oh wait i'm windsor from northern california oh your name is windsor oh. uh, i found your channel by searching muscle recipes and then i was being nosy and watched your wedding videos and i was like dang goals well thank you so much oh wow for so, watching us um bun soy found us through the muscle video yeah. The oh the the rock the Rockefeller one? Uh or, I'm, the, or the cheesy or the, no, the, the neither. Oh. I think I, I'm guessing you found us through the recipe one because that one has like 
I don't know why that one blew up, but it has over like 50,000 views. Maybe not 50, maybe 20. But there's a lot of views on that video. Bye, Michelle. Left for college. Akila, hello. Welcome. Aw, oh, James, you're so loving to Mark. Just because I called him a fashion icon? <laughs> That's all it takes. Hours, Mark. I was looking for a pair of shoes, which led to seeing other things that leads to hours passing and just pressing add to cart and place order. It was serious. Sounds like you. Now, what they're going to do now is email you and say, oh, I think you forgot something in the cart. Here's a coupon. Jam says, yeah, that wedding video is classic and you'll have such a great time watching later in life. Now, were you looking up muscles for a specific reason? Like, were you planning to make it or do you like watching people eat muscles? Yeah, it's interesting. It's like, oh, I'm just going to look up muscle recipe. Mm -hmm. It does sound random. You should drizzle some dark chocolate in the cake. <laughs> it's like a dark chocolate peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> we actually don't, I don't think we have any chocolate in our house right now. Yeah. <laughs> this, the way this cake is layered makes it very easy to know, like, if you've eaten your portion or not. Yeah, I'm done. I can't believe I'm eating the cake with chopsticks, though. This is how you know you're married to me. No, I know other ways I know I'm married to you. What's Haley doing? <laughs> I want cake, but it's 10 p.m. Well, you got to... Where, where would you go if you need a cake at 10 p.m.? The only place, really, is you have to buy the stuff and make it yourself. Oh, yeah, hey, dude. <laughs> hey, dude, you're like a pear on my shoulder. Um, I was craving green mussels, so I looked up recipes on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that, that's one way of finding videos on that. No, this is from our uh, wedding cake baker. BL says, I missed dinner. Hi, all. Hello. Hi, BL. Leticia is on. Hi, everyone. Late, but here. Are you guys over the cake yet? No, because we only had it for that mukbang. <laughs> and the other people just ate them. Mm -hmm. It's never too late for cake. I'm just full because I, I had a lot of spaghetti earlier. Well, I ate a lot too. Yeah. And I had lunch. <gasps> I forgot to wear my wedding ring. Oh, me too. <gasps> hey! <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? I'm not lying. <laughs> Still trying to figure out what to have for dinner. What are your uh, What are your choices? We'll narrow it down for you. Santrina Gunter, hi. What kind of spaghetti? Codro spaghetti is what we had. It's Jap Japanese influenced. Mm -hmm. Minnie says, Hedy wants cake. Yeah. Hedy wants everything. Uh, hey, we need to pick up peanut butter for you. Oh, see, he's not kissing me because he loves me. He's kissing me because he wants food. <laughs> I love having Hedy in the videos, though. He's cute. Yeah. He's. It's funnier when we we film mukbangs and we're you know not as like paying attention that closely, and then he does stuff. Especially like when we're editing and we're like, oh, did not realize he was doing something. <laughs> yeah, he's eyeing that cake. Oh, Laura's here. How are you feeling, Mark? Opa? 
<laughs> what I, do you? Whatever do I'm you all, mean? I'm okay, Laura Tongzheng. A lot of people call you Opa that night. <laughs> <laughs> You're so messy today. It's okay. Hedy was waiting for James to be full to eat the rest of the cake. <laughs> uh, okay, so these are the ones that, these are choices for jam. Burrito Factory, Arby's, or El Pollo Loco? Oh my gosh. I was thinking El Pollo Loco in my head. Oh. Not that I like it, but in my head I was like, well, you know, if you just you need to eat something? Eat something that's like relatively healthier. In my head, I was like, oh, just El Pollo Loco, but I didn't know if there was El Pollo Loco or. I want to say this month is the most I've ever heard Arby's being referenced. So I'm going to vote for Arby's. Yeah, we did talk about Arby's a lot. And then our friend randomly came yeah. over and had a bag of Arby's. I was like, yeah. So Arby's. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had Burrito Factory. <laughs> no. Uh, Shelly, no, we didn't watch the arc. I didn't watch the arc. I saw some clips, just of clips, it. Yeah. but I didn't need to sit through that. Yeah, he was upset. Do you remember what happened? Laura says here and there, hmm. but Jeff didn't come over, did he? No, no, because I remember Laura here. Yeah. I kind of can imagine like they all went back and then trying to regroup, but then decided, oh, just leave Jeff here. <laughs> it's like easier just to leave him there, right? Yeah. She she could. Oh, see, he was tucked in fast asleep. Oh, good. Yeah. We haven't made crepes like ever. Yeah. <laughs> I oh I made. Vietnamese mm, crepes mm, once, mm. and uh, after I did it once, I was like, I can't ever again. Mm. I think Laura came on just to spill the tea on people. She's funny. So um, on Saturday, we actually got to meet Honey of Honey Eats. That was very cool. Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, just seeing you in person, right? Yeah, yeah, that was like a trip. Yeah, she's such a nice person. Super nice. Yeah. yeah. I wish I could send you some burrito factory. It's delicious, and it's one of the last restaurants in the valley. They are disappearing. Yeah, because I was going to say I never – I don't think I've heard of them. No. It's a funny name. <laughs> like, I just don't associate – well, then again, there's Cheesecake Factory. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Carmen asks, Mark, what is your favorite gadget or tech? I like infomercial products. Like that's my guilty pleasure. Mm. It might not work well, it might not be good, but I just like watching them and want to buy it. Doesn't matter what, like it could be a vacuum or it could be yeah, a copper pot. I don't know. You kind yeah. of reduce your buying of it because I keep telling you don't. Our house has, I've tried my best to keep that uh, Marie Kondo life going. It's kind of been in waves, though. Yeah. Simple Life, hello, just got here. Uh, Laura asks, have you guys tried the Buddha Carbo rice cake? No, no. only the ramyeon. Uh, do you remember Spaghetti Factory? It was awful. There's still one around here. Like three miles away? Yeah, not that far from here. I'm surprised they're still open. I don't remember if it was good or not. Well, we hardly go there. Yeah. yeah. Are all of them? No. So the one that we live near, it's themed after like a train station because it's at the train station. Yeah. Uh, Jones ZB says, the first video I saw of yours was the dry-aged steaks. I love your dynamics so much, I sought out your wedding video. That's awesome. 
the dry aged steak video is actually our like if you've never watched any of our videos this is the video we would want you to see first oh yeah to decide if you want to like wa keep watching this because i think it was a good combination of like food we liked good interaction good camera good b-roll like it was just good video in other words you thought you looked cute in it no, that's not how I decide if a video is good. Mm -hmm. I go for all the other aesthetics. You're the one that needs extra like filtering when I edit videos. I don't need filter. No, you need hella filter. You don't know what I do. <laughs> uh, I'll drop you guys off tomorrow. They sell the rice cake version. Ooh. Ooh. It's going to be spicy. Oh, it sounds really good. Does Jeff like spicy food? I don't remember. I mean, I don't remember him eating. <laughs> <laughs> Just that chicken soup. Mm. Yes, Mark and James have such a good connection. The cocoa is fun, and they are super fun. What's the cocoa? Convo? Oh. If I had to guess, Convo. Not cocoa, I meant Convo, yeah. Who is your favorite Shark Tank member? Lori? Well, <laughs> She does sell the stuff that you probably would <laughs> like. Well, QVC kind, yeah, QVC does. Yeah. Do we even have that channel yeah, still? Yeah, we, we do. Oh, we never. I'm surprised you never watch it, really. Yeah, but it, I like the Sunday morning ones where they actually have like the demos? kitchen gadget stuff. But then if it's like bracelets and stuff or like clothes, then I'm not into it. I mean, I guess I would pick. Lori as well. Mark Cuban's cool, but then I feel like he's always like, it's like you catch him on a bad day, then he's super mean. Yeah, but and I then, also feel like if someone's like attractive, that he'll like, even ooh, though it's a bad product, there's no water like, in stupid, here. But, but like at the end of the day, like he's still like in the, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but a little, a little creepy. Creepy. Well, that's your opinion, I guess. Well, I guess he's never going to sponsor us now. <laughs> Who's the other one? Damon? I I don't feel... I feel like he makes the least deals. Yeah. And Oh, no. Well, Mr. Wonderful seems like he makes very yeah. few either. Yeah. So I guess it would be like either Robert or Lori. I do miss when the show, like the earlier seasons, were more like... Like mom, like mom and pop type of businesses, but now it's like I'm just gonna go have on 10 million, to... Like I won't invest in you unless you have ten million dollars in sale. It's mm -hmm. like uh, what happened to like those, you know, person that wants to sell knitted sweaters, you know? Yeah. So I don't even know. Are they still making new episodes of it? Yeah. And have we, the only thing I feel like I've seen on there that we ended up buying was Squatty Potties. Mm. That's the only thing. Uh, ever watch the My House episodes just makes me want to buy a house just to renovate it. Oh, I've seen commercials on it, but I've never watched we've never, it. Yeah, we've, we've never seen it. Uh, when my alarm goes off for lives, I freak out and try to crunch through work. <laughs> Uh, Jennifer, adios, James and Mark, gonna head out to lunch, catch you both later. Have a good lunch. Do you watch Undercover Boss? I like that show. I, we saw a few episodes in the beginning. We saw it in the beginning, and then at a certain point, we started feeling like there's no way these people don't know that this is happening. Yeah. Some of the disguises are a little, like... Yeah, too much. Like, questionable, yeah. but... Are they still making that show? I thought they canceled that one a while mm -hmm. ago, maybe not. Sure. Do you watch Supernatural? We don't watch that. I haven't watched a CW show in like forever. When's the last show? Seventh Heaven? No, I watched the new 90210. Oh. Uh, you know how they made the like a reboot of it? I watched some of that. You did? When? The, we weren't living together. Oh, remember that one show I really liked? On CW? Yeah. It had the Buffy the Vampire Slayer girl. She has a twin. Oh yeah, I love that show. What was it called? Not Revenge, but no. Can someone out there? I'm sure has watched it. I hope because I don't want to be canceled after one season. Yeah, it was only one so season, sad. but it was really good. Oh, I mean, it was. I thought it was good. Redemption, no, no. 
I even remember the, the cover is like her reflection and then the, the other sister is in the twin. Well, like one's branded a good twin and the other one isn't and then they change lives or something. Yeah. You really love that show. What is it? Anyone out there know? And then soon after Revenge came on and I think that kind of uh, distracted, distracted, me distracted you. Well, because I guess the plot line in that was similar -ish. Similar, yeah. It's like getting revenge on someone. Yeah. Oh my god, what's that show called? No one in this chat knows. That just go this is why I got canceled. No one watched it. I blame all of you. James considered paying for like a crowdfunding source to no, have the I show didn't. continue. I don't like what they did with that other show, Vanessa. Um, what's the show where they canceled um, after a few seasons, but then the fans. I and never watched that. that show. It's called uh, Veronica Mars. Yeah, Veronica. I never watched it. Yes, Perry, it is Ringer. Oh, yeah. Yes. Ringer. Thank you for remembering it. Oh, my gosh. So someone know they know it. Yeah. Laura says cheater. Um, that? That's a reality. That's like a where they have the person oh. like. That's on like Channel 9 at like 2 in the morning <laughs> yeah. when you're like. What's going on? Yeah. Do you watch Good Doctor? No, we haven't. No. Isn't that the one based off the Korean mm. show? Mm. Uh, I haven't watched it myself, but I just Googled it. Oh, well, thank you for Googling it because we weren't going to Google it. It's actually really good. Just watch one season because that's all that's available. Where can you find it? Probably YouTube. Mm. <laughs> Crystal teases. Hey, handsomes. Mm. Well, hello, beautiful. Hi, Crystal. Uh, we're going to end the stream in 13 more minutes. 13 minutes? Yeah, it'll be 1.30. Oh, okay. I'm just, looking, ice? At, I'm just looking at all the dishes, and I just want to do them. <laughs> Unless you want to do them. Yeah. Yeah? I'll do them. <laughs> you have no conviction in that voice. I'll do them. I'll do them. I will. This is... It's just these, like this, and then the pot. Yeah. That's not bad. And then the dishwasher, we can run after this. Oh, yeah? It's getting full? Yeah. It'll be full after this. That's why I didn't run it. Sorry, James. Survival of the fittest. I love Buffy. <laughs> I mean, Buffy was good. You love Buffy. Yeah, I also love Buffy. Did I liked it, but then when they moved channels, then I stopped, or networks. They moved channels? Yeah. It went from CW to, or WB back then, and then it moved to UPN. Oh, yeah. How about Angel? Angel just stayed on that channel, I think. Bye, Jonesy. Mark is getting dirty dish anxiety. That's a real thing, I feel like. Right? <sighs> um, I, Yeah. You have it. I do? Yeah. I hate just leaving it in the sink if it's, like, dirty. Yeah. If it's, like, clean dirty, then it could stay in the sink. Like a water cup, you know? Mm. Hi, James and Mark. What do you guys think about the whole college admission scandal? I want to say at like the 30, 40 minute mark, we actually talked about it, right? Yeah. Maybe but, 20, 25? But, but in summary, summary, um, we didn't know Lori was that rich. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently Massimo Brand, who she's married to the designer or whatever, was pretty hip when it first came out. Because you wore it. That's not why it was hip, but... Mm -hmm. Like, I would have never guessed that that store was at South Coast Plaza. It was before. That's it, it so was crazy. Target. I never thought of that. Yeah. It was like a Hugo Boss. Yeah. Bye, Letitia. Who buys fast food the most? I mean, probably by default, it'd be me just because Mark will skip lunch if he has to. And with my work, I, there's so many food options. Yeah. You do live in a good place. Or not live. You work in a good spot for all of that. Yeah. Uh. True Korean ajuma trait with leaving no not liking the dishes all around. Ajuma Rani. Yep. You totally are. There's so many like ajuma characteristics about you. <laughs> Fine, you're very ajashi characteristics. I'd rather be ajashi than ajuma. Ajuma. Ajashi. <laughs> uh loved y'all recent Instagram pics. Y'all look fierce. So we hung out with Tian and he has this like 
technique where he puts basically the camera right where your like his crotch is, and then he takes the picture, and he says that's supposed to make you look taller. It does, but it also gives you a double chin. So, like, I'm, like, half and half if I like that angle. Do you guys like that angle? I'm, like, so used to, like, at least high and then down. And I find I look shorter, but at least I don't, yeah, don't have a double chin. Mm-hmm. And that way, I think when you do lower up, don't you get more shadows? Or not really? Mm-hmm. But thank you. I yeah. should take a compliment. <laughs> yeah, but I am I would love to be taller. Uh, Letitia says, oops, sorry, I'm late. I just got to chance to say hi i missed everything no worries we got the replay coming in like 10 minutes hmm. uh melina sola says oh no his eyes too late <laughs> it's okay actually i don't know if the replay is like available right away if you have to wait a little bit but mm. please watch the beginning because the food today was really good we ate all of it oh. yeah uh, my greatest pet peeve shelly says is when the dishes are washed and suddenly eight cups are in the sink Never bothered to wash the the one just used. Drives me crazy. Like, not that this ha- you do this on purpose, but, like, when I'm doing dishes and, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm on my last one. But then you're helping cleaning up the kitchen and there's, like, a big pot and a frying pan left that I forgot that I had to wash. So, like, sometimes I don't want you to have to do that where you don't realize it. But then I always, I feel like I get the brunt of having to bring the frying pan that I think you forget. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know if I should ignore it or just bring it, but I always defer. I'd rather bring it than yeah. right. I, yeah, you, but you still, it's not like you're mean to me, but I feel like I get the, the ugh, like another one, but it's like, I didn't, I mean, I did do it, but I didn't do it. So like, what do I do? <laughs> So maybe before you go to the, the kitchen, I'm just going to load everything in the sink and then you address it. But uh, when you do cook, like, you are more, so efficient now. Yeah. Or, like, sometimes we wash as we cook. That helps a lot. Yeah. yeah. I'm not really good at doing that, but I try to do the efficiency route. But... <laughs> One of these days is going to be like, ah, I cut raw chicken on this, but I didn't want to wash it. So we're going to cut the fresh vegetables on it now. Eat the salad. I remember one time I was trying to save like a knife or a cutting board. So I reused something that wasn't for cutting and I like nipped a little bit of my finger and I was internally mad at you. But then I was like, this is not logical to be- get mad at you. But in my head, I was like, this would have never happened if you just let me make the dishes I needed to do what I needed to do. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, that's silly. I, I'm a blamer, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I'm a blamer. You're a deflector because you never ever accept the blame I blame you for. So that's why us two works. <laughs> <laughs> it is a favorite movie. Close. Uh, closer. I do like that movie, but also Chicago, the musical. I like Mean Girls, White Chicks, Miss Congeniality, and Bring It On. Those are like my Mecca movies. <laughs> As a couple, have you both developed a routine cooking and cleaning style? Like one person usually chops, cooks, or does dishes? No. If one person cooks, they do all the cooking. Yeah. Like we don't share responsibilities with cooking. It's it's funny it's because why is it why do, why are you like that? I don't know. Like if I cook, then I just do all the cooking. Even when even when you got home, right? The first thing you said is, "Are you cooking or am I cooking?" It wasn't even like let's, let's cook. cook. It's just one or the other. And I think it might just be like one of those. It's just easier to manage when one person knows this is what needs to happen versus. The now only, you have someone that has to delegate tasks. They're not doing it the right way, blah, blah. So. The only thing that we might do, like, joint effort is, like, if you, when you ask me, oh, can you wash the produce? Oh, yeah. You're the produce washer. I don't want to enjoy it. But you also wash it better than I do. So it's, like, that's probably why we're not sick. Okay. So we're almost wrapping up on our time. But before we go, anyone that hasn't answered these questions yet, Please let us know. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? And if you have, if any of you are out there watching in silence, just type the word dishes in your comment and we won't acknowledge it, but 
will just simply nod and know that you're here watching us in spirit. Because there's there's 33 of you on right now. Mm. So, oh, and thumbs up this video if you haven't. Oh, we have 39 likes. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you probably guys get this a lot, but you two are so adorable together. We haven't really gotten that a lot until we started YouTube. <laughs> well, right? Well, because people don't. There's more people watching us. Yeah, but like I don't get that like vibe from like our friends or people that say you guys are adorable or cute couple. Like I don't. Well, because I guess we don't really act like. Yeah, we're like look at look at how we're sitting. Like don't touch me. But when we're in videos and stuff, and then we're making fun of each other and blah blah, then I can see how people are more inclined to think that we're a cute couple, mm. right? Favorite pair of sunglasses. I mean, I only have one pair, and I don't even know what kind of glasses they are. You have Ray-Bans. Those are Ray-Bans? Mm -hmm. I should wear them more often. I, I've been wearing uh, Quays a lot. Quays? Mm -hmm. Q-U-A-Y? Mm -hmm. I read that that's not how you pronounce it, but I could be mistaken. Oh, how do you pronounce it? I don't know. It. That's the QA. That's the brand where it looks like you say it that way, but it's not. But we should look it up later. Mm -hmm. Unless someone knows. Am I the Ajuma? You're the hella Ajuma. Why can't an Ajushi be like clean and neat? Okay. I'm not stopping you. Who does the cooking the most and who does the cleaning? I don't know. I feel like I haven't been doing anything lately. <laughs> I clean here and there. Yeah we, yeah, we both just do it in our own ways. Yeah. Um, bye, Laura. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be home tomorrow. So if you want you could leave it with jeff and then we'll make sure we grab it thank you so much yeah uh because right after work we have to drive back to costa mesa yeah because our other close friends dan and irene they have a new baby now and we yeah. haven't seen the baby yet uh e kraken gaming says i'm a big fan is there any way you can see my name it's nick gurr I feel like this is one of those Simpsons episodes where Bart's like call calls Mo uh, Mo's Tavern. Yeah, I, I realized as I said it, maybe I shouldn't have. So we'll see if any anything else comes of that. I'm in Texas. I don't remember the other questions. Uh, where what's your favorite food and how did you find us? Are both of you Vietnamese? No, I'm Vietnamese. Yes. Are you going to answer you for yourself? I'm Korean. I don't know, but I think Mark has a little OCD in him. Is it that? Not OCD, but with some things I'm very particular in the way in which... It some people that. say particular, some people say anal. It's just whatever word you want to use. Anal's okay. That's not OCD. Yeah. If you're a Pokemon, what Pokemon are you? I'm probably Snorlax. <laughs> what about me? What's a cute one? <laughs> Please. You're Jigglypuff. <laughs> She's cute. Oh, Jigglypuff's a girl? Like, I don't know. Are they That's not, the one that sings, right? Are, are Pokemon boy or girl? Or are they just non... They're, oh, they're non-gender... Yeah. Um, non confirmist. Conformist? Conformist. Conformist sounds like a religion. Crystal says, Texas, Korean fried chicken, and y'all just came up on my YouTube under things you might like and love yourself. Oh. Well, YouTube did a good job then if you still love us. Thank you so much for your support. I didn't know Mark is a horrible singer. I am. <laughs> well, you're a horrible singer because you don't ever sing, but that doesn't mean you're a horrible singer. I actually... Have can hear. I've heard him sing a few times. When you sing, though, it's very like with conviction. It's not like you know how sometimes I sing. It's just like uh, yours is always like with gusto. Like I want to make sure everyone hears me, but it's just me. But you always do the like uh, right. Don't get embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking. I, you about. know what I'm talking about. Like you, you make it like a performance. <laughs> performance. 
Other than dogs, what other animals do you guys like? <sighs> this one likes any animal. Mm. He loves all animals. Mm -hmm. I feel like in another life, you're like a vet or something. Oh, that would have been a good career choice for me, huh? Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Well, we are up on our uh, live mukbang. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If you like this video, make sure you thumbs it up. Catch the replay if you just joined. Um, we had some good, good food. food today. And yeah, check out all of our other videos. And we'll see you guys for our next one. Have a good week. Bye. Good night. My good week. looks like it says you, but I should switch it up. If I flip mine upside down, it'll be a W. Is there water in it? That W is not like that. No, not W. Yeah, W. <laughs> no, I know, but it's not like that straight.